Hey everyone, Gil here at Camp Patton Family Compound. I'm out on the new patio here and I'm doing something I wanted to do last summer but I didn't have enough time to do it. I'm going to put a cover over the patio and I'm putting in a bunch of posts, 4x4 posts and I'm going to get a whole story on it but uh, the main thing I'm going to be covering today is installing, if I can see it, there we go, right down here, the metal bracket. And so I'm going to show you how I install these brackets. Let me get back in the shade here. There we go. So I, in the sun, I can't see the screen at all, so that's what's going on. So I'm going to show you how it all works, um, what I do to make, put it in there. I've been using this system for securing stuff to concrete for 30 years. So... Uh, I'll show you how that goes on goes and works on that but what I'm doing here is the boards next to the uh, house here these are 10 foot uh, 4 by 4s those are 8 foot 4 by 4s these here let me get it to look like up here I'm gonna measure up from the uh, gutter up four inches put a line on there and then Above that, I'm going to put a 2x6 running from this post down over to that post. And then I'll probably trim those posts off at 7 feet. And so that'll be just about um, just about a 2 foot drop from one side to the other. So the rain and the snow and everything will, will go off. After I have the 2x6s uh, on, I'm going to put 2x6s on both sides of the 4x4 four four posts. And then I'm going to run two by uh, fours um, this way, and those two by fours will be on 16-inch centers, and that's what the uh, roofing material, the steel roofing material, will be anchored to. And one of the reasons, some of why am I putting two um, uh, two by sixes on there? Well, because the sp these posts are eight foot on center, and so I got to have one on each side for that 2x4 spanning to uh, screw into. So that's what's going there. So let's get on to the, uh, the meat of the uh, video, the actual in, um, installing the brackets into the concrete. All right, so what I've done, I've already marked with, uh, I'm tape measured off, measured the center line. I have a, uh, a big steel square marked on here, so make sure this line is right. I marked it six inches from the edge. This now these brackets. What's neat about them is, in the bottom here, it's got a bunch of drainage holes for any water that goes down around it will drain out and everything. But uh, these holes here also line up so that when I set it on the on the line here, I can square it up because I can look down inside the two of the holes and I can see that line I drew this way on the concrete. That way I know I'm actually set up square. Now what I'm going to do is, let me grab it here. I got my uh, Bosch Bulldog uh, rotary hammer. And what I'm going to do, what I do is, I will, on one of these here first, I will uh, start the hole. I'll move this, drill the hole down, and then I'll put a short anchor screw in there to hold it in place while I drill the other three. That way it doesn't actually get bumped, accidentally get bumped and the holes be off. So let me go ahead and get the first one done here. So I get it started. I got my uh, depth gauge here set. And as you saw, yes, it does uh, blow out the uh, dust and puffs as it builds up on the uh, on the bit here. And it powder gets kind of pressurized there and then it blows it out. Next, I'm going to take my uh, air hose. Make sure that's clean. Put it on there. 
get my uh, my Craftsman uh, impact driver. And put the first screw in. Now I'm going to go ahead and drill or start to drill the hole so I got my pilot set and then I'll take the bracket off and finish drilling them. Take my screw out. Now one of the things I do is I angle the uh, the holes so that I'm I'm not running up against the, uh, so I'm not running up against the side here with my impact. So when I'm actually driving the screws, I can actually tilt it out a little bit. So. Go ahead and finish drilling these all the way down in. I don't know any dust got on the lens, so let's clean the lens off. All right, now the next thing I do, put my torpedo level on here to see it. Yes, the concrete is uh, tipping, but not the direction I thought it would be. Spin this around, see if there's if something wrong with that. Okay. Hmm. Okay, such it's just a just a slight it's just touching the hair on the one side. So I'm not gonna have to put on some of these I had to put one or two washers in it because of the way the concrete was finished. Uh, this here was actually kind of a, a flat spot here, but the whole concrete has a slope on it so the water runs off. And so I want to make sure this is sitting straight for the post. So it goes that way. And I just go ahead and uh, start my screws. I don't drive them all the way in at first. Just drive it part way so I can get them all started. Because even though I did put that set screw in there and do it, sometimes things get bumped and things happen. Sure, I think my battery's getting low. Nope, I just got a hard hole over here. Pull screw back out, getting any dust yeah, dust I got on there out. Finish setting the screw. And this does happen. I get a bat every now and then. I get, there'll be a, like a rock or something in there. 
that is on the edge that the um, the carbide drill bit went by and it's just enough in you know it's right on the edge there so it chews up the side of the screw let me grab my pliers Every now and then I got to use a second screw to because uh, it just screws it up and yeah kind of how you can tell but yeah it really chewed up the uh, the threads there on it so they can't bite the concrete so that's why I get the big box of them see what a new one does here. That's on it now. All right, so this one here is done. All right, and there are 22 of these posts. That was uh, number 12. So I got 10 more to do going down there and over there. So the way the wind's blowing, picking up blowing from the north here but looks fairly clear except for way over there I can see some thunderheads up there so we're supposed to get some thunder uh, possible th thunder clouds coming in at uh, around three after three o'clock so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this away and try to get some of these others done here before the uh, rain comes all right and before I take off I'm gonna put a link to my uh, I can see myself here over here to my other channel, uh, Gray Man Prepping, and I'll put a couple playlists over here. All right, take care, and I'll see you around.